Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456, and today I have for you guys the full Easter egg tutorial for Richtofen inside of the Easter egg, and I do believe this one is a little bit harder than Max's, but uh, a lot of the steps are the same, so it shouldn't be too bad, so let's go ahead and get started. The first step here is to build the guillotine. You do need the crystal, the satellite, the string, and the antenna. I'm showing you the location of those now. And uh, basically what you want to do is just run to these locations and then drop down to the guillotine, which is right next to the bar, and just drop down and build all the parts on. And it, once you've built all four parts on, you should get a quote from uh, Richtofen. But I won't be talking about the ch uh, quote checkpoints so much just because only one player hears them. But uh, a lot of these things will be marked by a Richtofen quote. And uh, yeah, you can go ahead and move, move on from that. So the next thing you have to do is charge all four of the orbs around the map. You do not break them like you do on Maxis's side. These are required for Richtofen's side, so they are required for the Richtofen's side. So be sure to charge them up. I'm showing you where they are now. There is one right next to the church, one behind the ghost house, one in the tunnels up above the map, and then one more right next to the bar. So once you've charged up all those and built the guillotine, there will be a little lantern flying around the map, and you need to knock it down with grenades. This is the same as Maxis's side. Uh, the only difference is once you pick it up, the player who picks it up needs to go into the ghost house and use the ghost to charge the lantern so as you can see here you just need to kill the ghost when you're next to the lantern and you hear it slowly charging up by the little bells or something you hear I'm not really sure how to describe the sound but it'll slowly get higher and higher pitch and as soon as you hear Richtofen talk you know that you've completed this step and you are ready to take the lantern up onto the roof uh, right next to the bar so as you can see here you build the uh, little lantern into the bar roof and this little code will spawn here so if you don't know how to do this code be sure to check out my video that is on the screen right now just click on the middle of the screen or if you're in the uh, if you're on mobile just click in the description below to see how you do this step because uh, I explain it more thoroughly there and I don't have time to explain it in this tutorial so once you know which three signs you have to pu uh, punch with the galvan knuckles go up to the upstairs area in the mine shaft and uh, just go find your three signs and as soon as you punch the third one it will spawn a little wisp here so make sure for this part that at least one person has vulture aid because then you can see the wisp through the wall otherwise it makes it very very difficult so uh, as soon as the wisp spawns and you touch it it will go to a new location and if you have vulture aid, you'll be able to see the wisp wherever it is on the map so just be sure to follow it around and keep touching the wisp wherever it spawns and uh, eventually it will make its way to the guillotine run up to it and just make sure it goes all the way in by holding x on it and knifing it and just uh, touching it to make sure it goes to the spot it needs to now uh, theater mode did glitch a little bit here so it doesn't show all the lights you should be seeing but uh, what you need to do at this point is you need to get charge the actual guillotine with the blood of zombies so the little wisp will fly out and it'll uh, attach on the zombies Make sure those zombies go by the guillotine and then be sure to kill them and the wisp will go back on. It only takes about five zombies, it's really not that many. And then you'll hear Richtofen talking and you'll hear the Easter egg sound and uh, just a, the little uh, sound clip that you always hear. So after this part, the guillotine is charged, you're basically ready to find the time bomb. So just go into the box, make sure you get a time bomb. And this is where it starts getting a little bit difficult. You need to lay the time bomb down right in the middle of this uh, little guillotine here as you see. And then uh, as soon as uh, you're ready to go, have all four players crowd around the guillotine and then the person who has the time bomb needs to trigger it and what this will do it'll spawn infinite round zombies which means you cannot kill the zombies they are still affected by monkey bombs though but what you need to do is run around the map and we got really lucky that it was just right here but all you need to do is uh, go run around the map find the bodies of your characters and you'll it'll have an option to hold X to search and you'll either find that thing or you'll find the switch and if you find the switch you're basically ready to go but it, this will take a couple of tries it is pretty difficult and it's pretty annoying but uh, the switch will always be on one of your character's dead bodies that is laying around the map. So uh, once you build on the switch here, you, what you need to do is uh, basically flip the switch, make sure it's, everything's good to go, and make your way to the maze. Now this part is a lot a lot of trial and error and a lot of frustration, but basically how it works is that there are four switches on one of, on one side of these green walls here, and uh, as soon as you flip a switch, uh, if nothing happens, that is not the correct order of the switches, And you, but uh, every single time you go back to the maze, you do need to complete all four switches before you exit out because uh, the maze will change every single time and uh, it does make him a lot more difficult and annoying but that's okay it is meant to be a challenge but basically what you would need to do say if you flip the green switch first and it doesn't spark that means green is not first uh, if you flip the red switch third and it does not spark the red switch is not th uh, third but it's, uh, say basically if you flip the blue switch 
fourth and it sparks, that means the blue switch is always fourth in the sequence. So you know to fill in blue, even though the may switches every time, you always flip the uh, blue switch fourth and it will basically be good to go. So you basically just keep doing this until you have all the sparks. So if you got blue fourth and it sparked, always hit the blue switch fourth and then just figure out the first three combinations. Say you hit red first the next time and red first sparks and then the other two don't spark. Just reverse the order of the middle two and then you'll go red and then say it was like blue or not not blue blue is fourth uh, red green yellow blue and then uh, all four spark and then basically you are ready to go back to the fountain so once you go to the fountain you're gonna play sharpshooter uh, I'm assuming you guys know how to do this but uh, check out my maxis guide for the Easter egg if you don't know where the best spots to stand is for this all you need to do is complete the sharpshooter make sure you hit every single target use the PDW is honestly the best weapon for this and as soon as you do you will get the mind gaze achievement and you will be set so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I'll try to make it as detailed as possible and uh, I hope you guys did did uh, get every step right and uh, complete this Easter egg. So if you did like this and you do want to support me, be sure to hit the like button on this video and subscribe if you're not already. And uh, if not, that's totally cool. I understand. Just let me know in the comments down below what I can do better. And uh, uh, yeah, try to earn that like from you. So I hope you guys enjoy this. My name is NoJ456. I will catch you in the next video and bye-bye.